Hello, and welcome back to Coromon. It's weird not starting in front of, like, a rest stop, but, I mean, I did just come from one. Anyways, last time, we trained up Skitters to his final form, and as you can see, to a really high level. However, we still have a long way to go before we're done, so without further ado, let's go ahead and activate this, and get a blast in. So obviously, big question number one wasn't even answered, but I need to see what I can hit with uh, I need to see what I can take out in one hit with Precision Punch. Kind of mark their levels. Dun pods. These dun pods are par hardly worth the time. <clears throat> All right. Whew. So obviously I still have that one milestone to get for like level 99. So I'm going to aim for that. I mean that's my goal with skitters here. I already tried using a kitty coo except kitty coo didn't really fare very well. It was kind of sad actually. So Kitty Koo's just gonna kind of get trained the old-fashioned way. I know I need transcending for this guy because, oh man, is he strong. Unfortunately, there's just nothing I could do about that. Like, if I had just a few more points I could put into attack, I would be good. But unfortunately, I can't, so I have to... Every two levels would be like if I just got... a single point. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother with those ones in particular, just because they're too costly. I don't have to worry about this guy, he's too weak. And yeah, this is pretty much gonna be the rest of this. Uh, there's nothing else to really say. I'm out of Mike and Ike's. Highly unfortunate. I'll just use transcending. At this point, it's not really a big deal. So painful just coming so shy of victory. I wonder if I'll even get through this crowd. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard, I would think. Except for one little problem. I'd kinda saved most of the hardest for last. Which includes... A, uh... 
three that evolve above level four. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Critical hit increased. I mean, if there was like an endless wave mode, that would be pretty cool. Oh, that would be really cool. Pink. See ya. Well, that goes to prove that. Swampa definitely can survive a hit. Probably not anymore now. Hard to believe, already level 80. Yeah. Pink. The unfortunate thing is, Kitty Koo just doesn't really make the cut. I mean, the problem isn't that Kitty Koo can't beat him, it's just that every move Kitty Koo has isn't really like a one shot kind of move. Which just makes it impossible. And it makes it impossible to win by the end of a turn. So with such weak defenses. But the thing is, it's not even worth... Like once I get up to 90, hopefully, I could start using Kitty Koo. But I'm afraid by the time that comes up... It's going to be too late. Still not worth it, Fibio. Now, if I had a sweeping move, totally worth it. Not going to take the chances. Just going to mop the floor. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just say... Uh, 114. Not a big deal. Well, that won't be a problem again. Yeah, look at that. It was, it's not going to take long at all to get to level 54. The funny thing would be if transcending was a special attack. Alright, I do not need a nun a bunch of these battles.
Why do I keep doing this to myself? And this is going to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, hey, didn't. Also, I need to hurry up and uh, heal, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I will heal. Wait, did it just say my special attack was almost just as good? Well, that's just downright insulting. Let's see what moves I have then. Physical, 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 physical. Ah, <laughs> uh, physical, physical. It only learns physical moves. That is, that's not even cool. I know in part that was my fault. I invested into special. But regardless, I mean, that's like... I put all of my points into attack, and it's only barely higher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I see it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good thing I wasn't predicting that level up like I was thinking. Zoop. At this point, it, it's worth it to just use Transcending. I'll try using uh, my move again once I get down to like... I'll try using Propeller or er, Precision Punch at some point where Uh, my attack's over 200. Actually, you know what? Propeller Punch should knock out most everything by this point. Oh, I should be coming up to 51 in the next couple of battles. Give my SP a chance to recover a little bit. Oh yeah, that SP definitely recovered. Only Kitty Koo could actually battle. Yeah. 
I don't know. I might give it another try. Oh, I'm so close. I mean, that is way too close. Seven HP left. But that was a weaker one, too. So I guess, really, it's not that close. You know what I'm gonna try to do? There's no reason for me not to. Let me just give this a try. Come on, see something? You should be level 40, almost. Ah, it doesn't work. It was worth the try. What I was hoping that the level up stacked, but that's obviously not going to be the case. I should be getting that level up to 52 pretty quick. I am being interrupted.
All right, and we are back. Might as well get that stench going. Get the really strong core mon out. And yeah, I think I'm ready. Just start plowing away. I mean, if the rest of these go as easy wow. as Per did, as Kiku did. <laughs> oh, it's just gonna be quick.
You know, I gotta say, I really do like having my two favorite Pokemon from XT Gale Darkness. I guess technically Selby is a part of Gale Darkness, but regardless of which, I'm glad. Why are you still- oh, you used Last Stand. Won't save you this time. I mean, I think Shadow Lugia is one of the coolest Pokemon. And for years I've always wanted one on my team outside of Pokemon. Always been a shame, shame to me that uh, never could. Hopefully they bring it back someday. One game title I always wish they'd come back with. I mean, I believe I talked about it with um, in Pokemon Silver. I believed that like the future of Pokemon was gonna start kind of going after generations, and each generation was gonna have kind of like a pair. Like Generation One wasn't paired with anything necessarily, but it always gets a remake, and it's always interconnected to whatever story they're telling at the moment. Generation 2 was always, like, when it was connected with Generation 2, then you get a Generation 3, where Generation 1 got its remake. But Generation 2 was kind of shoved off as, like, side notes. And then you had Generation 4, where we finally got the remakes to Johto, I say finally like it was like a huge wave, but I mean we had the remakes to Jota. And uh, that's when it kind of established the idea that there was going to be a remake for every generation. With every generation that came out, so there was always going to be the generation and its remake. I don't think we got a remake with Generation 5 out but I, I consider Generation 5 connected to Generation 4 anyways. Then you had the new generation with X and Y, remakes of Hoenn, Generation 8 with the Sun and Moon. I don't know, I'd have to think about that. Anyways, uh, Generation 4 and Generation 2 always had that connection. They were always kind of intermingled in a way. And I kind of thought with the... Pokemon Go starting to introduce the Johto's, and then we had the remakes of Sinnoh coming up, and they even had their own special side game. I thought they were going to do a lot more with Generation 2, but it seems I was wrong. The most we got from Generation 2, like I thought we were going to get the third installment to XD Gallon Darkness, which would have been really awesome. But instead I think what we got was the limited Pokedex. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, from what I hear, they're good games, but I don't know. Never actually played them myself. I think the last game I bought was Hello Eevee. <gasps> oh man. If that was useful in any way, I would so use you, but you're not useful. And it's just a shame. Wow. Oh, another one of you? Uh, you're always using the epitome of last time. How late. So, uh, I was watching this video on building competitive teams for Pokemon, <laughs> and the utterly ridiculous amount of work that goes into it. I don't know. 
I was always kind of on the side for the Poke hacks, but uh, he said one line in particular, and it had absolutely nothing with anything that he was actually talking about, but there was just one line that swayed me. It's when he said, it's in the agreement that people sign when they do the competitions. At that point, it doesn't matter what your opinion is, it doesn't matter how you feel about something is, they have a rule, you have accept that rule, and if you break that rule, then you broke the rules. I, I don't understand why that's like, hard. But, hey, what do you do? Now, and then I started thinking to myself, I was thinking, well, it's kind of a silly rule because, I mean, it's like you're having a rule that people have to waste their time. And then I started thinking about it, I was like, well, I don't know. If, if somebody, you know, takes the time to dedicate to their team, I would say that's somebody who enjoys what they do. And if you take somebody who just puts in whatever team they want, I think it takes away from the whole experience. In terms of practice, however, I mean, I, I don't know, if you, you go to such lengths to get, you know, a specialized team, I would say you know what your strategy is, and the only question really is whether or not it works. So, yeah, I mean, in just one simple line, having nothing to do with the time spent on how long it used to take to build a competitive team, <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to yawn there. Oh, that I think was almost level 40. I could have killed it. That would have been good experience. Good enough experience. Anyways, uh, with one simple line, nothing to do with his 30 hours, 30 plus hours to build a team from Generation 4. He managed to convince me, yes. Teams should be naturally caught and naturally trained, even if they do the RNG manipulations, they should still be done right. Also, I just want to say that you know, this, this Coromon is going to hit level 100 so fast. 14 levels away. I will say that is nice. Like, when I was training for Volcor, Volgar, it was agonizing. I mean, I know a thing or two about a bad grind in Pokemon games. There's the ones that feel fun, like Generation 3 and later, I would honestly say I enjoy grinding. In in those particular games. Generation 2 was dreadful. Everything about it was just... It wasn't fun to play. And that's disappointing to me. But, more importantly, this game was starting to remind me Is it worth it? No, not really. This game was starting to remind me of that when I was training for Full Guard because it wasn't easy training. Oops. It wasn't easy training a single core at all. And I can safely say that this family tree right here, Sandril's family tree, was part of a reason why 
I was so horrible. <clears throat> it wasn't fun. It was slow. It I wasn't making progress at all. And it just wasn't fun. Soggy Swamps wasn't bad, so to speak. But it still, especially towards the end, it became... It wasn't fun. I was not having fun training Slim Pie and Mr. Pinch. Funny enough, Mr. Pinch ended up becoming irrelevant, but yeah, no, it was not fun in the slightest. And because of that... I wasn't looking forward to this, and I did push it off for quite a while. Which is why it's so bad now, I mean I should have been doing it after every single town, but I decided to hold off on it. And it's a good thing, because after getting skitters set up, coming into this one, it's so much better. I mean, it just goes faster, it feels more energizing, I feel like I'm making progress. Which is something I was doing for a while in Soggy Swamps, but that lost its luster really fast. And it's kind of funny because throughout each world or place or town or whatever, it literally does the generation skips where in generation two, it was awful. When I completed the Pokedex in generation two, Pokemon Silver, a game I enjoyed playing a lot, I ended up dreading completing the Pokedex because it just wasn't fun to do. And I don't remember how much I actually caught. Like, I, I remember catching stuff. I don't remember if I had trained every single Coromon, which eventually I started. I mean, every single Pokemon. Wow. But either way, like, it was just not fun at all. And by the time you get to Trianatar, which in Pokemon Silver, Trianatar is the last Pokemon you can possibly get. Unless you purposefully hold off on catching or training up something else, there is no way you should have a Trianatar before anything else because you have to catch a Barbatar at a low level, and then you have to train very slowly. Ooh! Do I have my checklist? I don't know, I've got my checklist. Oh, that sucks. Oh, instead of worrying about my stupid plushes, I should have been focusing on what I should... Wait, what? Hold on, what? Hold on. <laughs> it's already level 37? What? Yeah. Crypto is done. Oh my goodness. See, and this is what I'm trying to get to. Like, Generation 3 definitely made stripes, right? It was not the worst for Generation 3. And... Even though it wasn't the worst, it still wasn't the greatest thing in the world. I mean, I'll be honest, I had fun training in Generation 3. I ended up actually making a comparison where I put a Dragonite in daycare and I trained it using an exploit. Well, not an exploit so much as I went to a tile pad and trained it like that. And, uh, that took a long time. It actually took a couple of weeks to do. 
to get it to level 100. I don't even think I ever finished it. It was just taking so long. Because I took a second Dragonite, I taught it Surf, and I tra trained against... I think I've talked about this before, but... I trained against a couple of trainers that had a couple of fire types, and I was able to one-shot them eventually. Dragonite is definitely not the best for that. I would recommend, if anyone wants to try that, to use Starmie. Because Starmie, I mean, at level 25, is strong enough to take on the Elite Four. Maybe not in a J-Rose challenge, but still is. Anyways, I got that thing to level 100 so incredibly fast. And with the involvement of a double battle, whatever I was training got a majority of the experience anyways, so even when it was 100, it's not like it was a big deal that I wasn't getting experience for it anymore. And it was so fast, a lot of fun. As for... That was in Leaf Green and Fire Red. As for Emerald, or Ruby and Sapphire, um, what I did was I trained against the people who want to do the interview. You know, and funny enough, despite having trained up every single Pokemon, for the national decks, using just those two trainers as much as I could, I never got them to sit in one spot. Like, I guess after doing 200 and something battles with them, they'll just stay in one spot and they won't move anymore, which, I mean, is definitely convenient, especially if you can one-shot their team. It's really fast experience, and it's why I love double battles. It's why I love team attack moves like Earthquake. And it's why I get upset when you get games like this, where I can't have two Pokemon on the field, but the enemy can have triplets. Not a big deal if you can attack them all. It's actually really awesome. It's a satisfying thing to me. And you know, it's 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 not bad doing that. And then of course you get into generation four where they reinduce the versus seeker for I think platinum exclusively. Then you get Generation 5, which just made it hard. I would say, out of all of them, Generation 2 was still the absolute worst. Then Generation 1 was next to that, but that's just because the way I did it, I got all 150 prior to the Elite Four, including the Mew, using the exploit there, and I trained in the mansion, which was much, much slower. But I managed it. And the last one I trained was Dragonair, getting Dragonite, who then crushed the Elite Four. I don't remember if he actually crushed the Elite Four. I guess it would have been it back in those days, because they didn't come out with genders until generation 2. Anyways, moving on from that story, then you get generation 6, which I think made the best strides of all. First off, experience all, I don't care what anybody says, it's a luxury. There is nothing about the experience all that's cheating or easy or whatever they want to call it. It's convenient, it's efficient, and I don't know why suddenly people think doing this task six, seven times over for their team has suddenly become a challenge, quote unquote. Kind of silly. But it's so much better. Whoa, horror mask. 
Ooh, yeah, horror is uh, right. still not as efficient as Generation 6. Honestly, I don't care. Like, it's not slow. It's not painful. And even though I only have so many more Coromon left to train, like, I don't feel exhausted from doing this at all the slightest. I might be tired, I might be ready to move on from this, but I'm not sick of this. So, yep, that's pretty much all I have to say on the training side. I don't even know if I was talking about that. I know I was talking about the, uh, the glitch training or the Hoga hacks. I don't know. When you do the same task literally for, like, I think by the time I'm done with this, I probably would have been in this area for, like, six hours, maybe. Is this six hours? I don't know. No, it can't be six hours because... Two fifty-five. other things to say, but there's really just nothing left to say. Almost level 100. I actually question whether I'm gonna hit it. I mean, at the rate I'm going, I will have finished these five Cormon pretty quickly. I wasn't even paying attention, and suddenly I hit 30 seconds. That's crazy fast. I actually can't wait to get back into X and Y. Just because once it gets easy to train there, it's gonna be a lot of fun. is no longer a punishment, which, I mean, I guess I can see that. Like, one of the aspects of a whole training is that if you have a smaller team, you're bound to get more higher levels. And if you have a larger team, you're bound to be lower level, and it's kind of like a balancing act. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't get it, but I don't know. I was watching something that was saying that the people who developed Coliseum and XD didn't know Pokemon. Which, I mean, they knew Pokemon enough to take their shadow moves and turn it into special and physical, depending on how it attacked, so... I guess Pokemon doesn't know I'm Pokemon, right? 
That goes two ways. Anyways, uh... One aspect that I definitely believe they got right in Colosseum and XD that they don't get right in the main games is this idea that you should shift your team. In Pokemon, I mean, you know, you, you do shift your teams, which is why I was I was kind of liking to play the way I was, except I caught a lot of members that were on my team by the second round. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Wow. Uh, but... I mean, mainly, like, you're supposed to catch, going off a of Kanto, you have your starter, then you have Pidgey, an option between Pidgey and Rattata. And you're supposed to keep Pidgey over Rattata because Rattata loses favorability. But by the time you learn that Rattata, Kate isn't as good, to be honest, you're already several towns over, and by the time, you know, all stuff starts to begin overflowing, well, you're gonna have a lot of Pokemon that you didn't use in favor for Raticate, and... It'll be hard to switch. Because it, it's already got the time and effort put into it. And I mean, you'd be filling up your half your team by area one. And same thing goes with the next route, where you can catch Spiro and a choice between Mankey and the remakes and uh, Nidoran, the Nidorans in the originals. But then you get to the forest and you have Caterpie, which is the better option. Weedle, which under no circumstances is the right option. And you get uh, Pikachu. I believe you get Pikachu there in the originals. I know you get it in the remakes. So yeah, you get like a lot of Pokemon right right off the bat. This is all right before the first gym, and you know you are not gonna be prepared for Block and Brock in the slightest without Mega Grimes. Man, this is not taking any time whatsoever. I don't know what is going on here. This is just crazy. Also, Skitters can't actually double anybody's level, but can I just say that, like, Upgade went from the training Pokemon and it's been reduced down to half of this. It also goes without saying, Skitters does not get uh, to be on the team at all whatsoever. So I wonder if I'm going to max out with SP. That would be interesting to see. Ball of Darkness. Punch the ball. 
Nice. Unfortunately, it's target. It's not team. If it was team, I would have switched that out instantly. Okay, maybe not instantly because I do have to get further, but... Also, I'm going for that 99 milestone. Not that it's important anymore, but I would like to. I've thought about it very long, and I think I'm going to keep bird's eye. I didn't like boxing it to begin with. And I'm going to be perfectly honest, even though I think tops would do good, I'm just going to keep bird's eye. Why is special attack so good? I don't get it. I don't know if I'm gonna get that level up. I mean, I've only done four levels. A literal third of what I needed. And... I'm almost done. Like... I mean, this is going to be one of the harder ones to go through. I still have Moldi, which is going to be level 44, but... You're talking nothing at all to do this. When I was starting my recorder, it said that it wasn't power, or the commentation wasn't on. Oh man, I got really concerned on that one. Also, I think I'm going to do special attack. I got really concerned on that, just because, like, I kinda need my commentation on. Or I thought my whole last video had no commentation. Which I checked it, and it did. So it's kind of weird that that happened. Oh no, you're berserker. Something that I know won't be a problem in the future, but I mean, if I do these overlays, I might get a second computer to do them. Just because. Eh, I don't think I have to worry about it. Man, I'm glad you guys aren't showing up that often. 39, I'll fight it. I'm just gonna see how much experience it gives. Three thousand 
3,600. That's not bad. <laughs> oh, the hairpin of damage I've been taking. It's gonna just be way too much damage. Right now, I don't even have to worry about poison effect. I just don't want to lose damage by the little swampy or the little tablets. Oh. What I'm hoping I can do is get every stat above 200 on this guy. I don't think it's gonna happen, but that'd be kinda awesome. I think I'm good on SP. I don't think I have to worry about running out of it ever. say though, something that kind of sucks about the way I'm doing this now yeah. is I don't even get to see the core on an action, which is kind of like the oh. point of all of this. Wow. Also, when I looked up uh, art for Guliok, there was depictions of him with three heads, which is weird to me. I can't believe I'm already so close. Unfortunately, I already had Mutilla, but I had it as a potent, and that was obviously a mistake. I learned that now, and I learned that at the cost of having to do several more. Gosh dang you and you're fully rested. If I just catch this guy, he's just out of my hair. base is out of my way. I don't even have to worry about this one anymore. Wait, hold on. Uniclaw was the evolution to Mr. Pinch. Ooh, I think I screwed it. 
think I was thinking of someone different. Not worth it. And I think it goes without saying, I don't have to do one this big anymore. Matter of fact, I don't think I'm going to do anymore. Like, once I'm able to... Once I'm able to start catching the Dark Magic Korma, once I'm start, once I'm able to do that, I think I'll just finish out the core decks. And then I will go through the Dark Magic area, so I, I, that's my game plan at least. Alright, I, I can live with Humidifier because that means I don't have to worry about you. Uh, uh, It's concerning. Not gonna lie. I am going to be done even with the extras. Probably before I hit 99. Which would be sad. I might just finish the job in the event that that does happen. Because I mean, I'll be adding an extra experience, hundred thousand experience every battle. That makes ten percent look like nothing. Pink. Special defense. Oh, is that what I've been looking at this whole time? Oh, my speed is awful. Oh well. I wish you were level 39. That would be great. Uh, any which way, you're just good to be. Level up. There it is. Yeah, 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 with your toxic cloud. Cool, I didn't get punished for none of it. I got punished a little bit. use. Wish I found an item then. Let me find these things more frequently. Still haven't ran into a perfect. I wonder what the deal with that is. I mean, they introduced this idea of perfect, they let you see a couple, and then they just don't let you, uh, you know, see any of them. Now grew to level 28. Neat. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I will make it. It's gonna be a close one though. Five levels, four and a half levels, still to climb. Meanwhile, in like the distance of a level, I'm almost done with the core. I mean, 
mean, I'm getting a level up right here. Physical? Really? goodness a battle without a level up and that's not gonna happen very often I imagine it'll get to the point to where uh, nah. not worth the hassle I imagine it'll get to a point to where I'll only get a level up every other battle Like, I'll get a level up here in the crowd. No. Oh. Okay. So I guess we are to a point where I'm not going to get level ups all the time. That's good. screen and I look at my uh, shortcuts, desktop icons, my up and down is pretty good. Like, I mean, there's only a hair difference off on them. And it would have looked perfect if I would have got it right, but I'm a little off. However, my left and right is way off. Quite, I would say probably a quarter of an icon off. And that bothers me. Not bother is like something I need to fix or anything like that, but definitely next time I do this, I'm gonna make sure I get it right. I think I am still saving the worst for last. And then I got two bonus ones to go train, because I done screwed that up. 
Nice thing is, this will make doing my homework later easy. Once I start working on the overlays. Then I gotta jump back into, I've already talked about having to jump into Union X again a couple of times, but like the storage on my iPad that I was using. I didn't have enough and I'm not paying money for the iCloud storage. So what I'm doing is... Believe it or not, there's actually a way to record your iPad on... There's a way to record iPad on Elgato. That to me is pretty crazy. And then, because there's no way to do it with DS or 3DS, which is frustrating. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it out. And if it's a problem, I don't know, I might have to pay for the iCloud, which I don't want to do. If it's not a problem, like I can do full screen recordings, like I did with my first episode, I'm going to have a lot. She took more damage than I thought. Eight points. Oh, and that one. Ugh. Horrible. Six, so I'm like almost there. Yeah. I'm probably gonna hit it. I mean, I'm, I've reached halfway to the mark. Tougher ones are at hand.
So I should be at like 72. Oh, sweet. So it does keep track of everything. And swamp this down. Something I am curious about, I've been curious about this since the very beginning. Once I reach max level, am I going to continue growing? How far does the potential let me go? Does it let me go until all of them are red? Which, by the way, I always hated how they put those kind of limitations on. On something like this, I mean, I guess it makes sense considering all things considered. Like, they don't want people running around with 999 in every staff Coromon, but... I don't know, in other games, it always bugged me. Like, at the end of the day, the limitations should be pretty much capped pretty close to one another. I don't know, it'd be a weird thing to try and balance, but I know that was like one thing that would bug at me and fade a bullet, how no matter what you did, like the weapons that you use are irrelevant if the developers don't didn't want you to use those weapons. was always something that did bug me a lot. <sighs> uh, if only you would survive. If he did, I would have considered catching you. I am going to have to think about something. What am I going to do after I do hit this? Because at this point, that point, it's going to be just a waste of experience. But to be honest, I don't think there's anything I can really do. Is there anything? Like, aside from my base team... Mm. Aside from my base team... The only Cormon... That even... Are high level... Are... Kitty Koo and Upgate. And they're both at about 54, 55 range. Not about, they are that range. So the question becomes what do I do? Is it even worth asking? Because I mean, I'm moving so fast that I don't think it matters. I will take a humidifier because it means that you're not going to survive this. Wow. 
Thanks for working first. This round the power is double. I mean, that alone would make this guy great for that one area. Problem is, even so, this is still moving way faster. Well, I think it's uh, undisputable at this point, with me about to hit level 98. I'm definitely going to be hitting 100 before Moldai gets done. And even if not Moldai, the other two Formon... What is it? Beazel and... Who did I screw up? Who else did I screw up? I have whoever... Oh! Oh! Dugmail. Yeah. That one will actually be very fast to clean up. I wonder if this one will one shot. No. <laughs> no, it will not. Um. I don't know why I used that move. That was unnecessary. At the least, an overkill best. Yeah. A level 100 Skitters with the absolute most attack that it can have is cannot one-shot that level 42 Sandro. Also, I turned up the volume on my recorder, so I wonder if that made a difference. However, I'm kind of out of energy. I'm tired, I'm ready to get this done, because it's nothing like majorly important. I don't feel bad, especially since I've uh, already had quite a few videos where I've just been super tired in them. And that's just... How it goes sometimes, sometimes you're just tired when you do one of these. I mean, I guess it grew levels pretty fast, but I don't think it grew levels like every other fight kind of fast. I mean, this is fight number one. Right? So, fight number one with Uniclaw, done. This will be fight number two. With Swampa. Oh, no level up. 
that's actually surprising. I don't know why. Sandcast has always been kind of slow for level ups. I guess it's not that bad. Something I'm excited to check out is the PSP sync on the PS4. I wonder if I could connect my PSP onto the uh, PS4. That'll be something interesting. For a second I thought I killed the light. I really hope so. I'd love to. I would love to show off some of my old characters from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and I got a couple of other games. You know, I spent. I saved up to go get a PSP, and I was super happy to get one, and I think I own like two games for it. No, three games. And. Wait, hold on. I own four games total and three of those four games came with the PSP it was like a basketball game kind of game which I never cared for those kind of sports games anyways so I was never gonna touch that one then I had a Ratchet and Clank dual set which came in its own box, so I wonder if maybe I didn't get them. I got those separate, I don't remember. And then I got Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, which was the whole reason why I got the PSP, and I was super happy with it. Oh, it doesn't grow levels after 99. Huh. That's weird. I mean, I guess I could go back to the one area and start training there, but I'm not going to. And it looks like you can continue the potential training. <sighs> Until they're all read out, I guess. So, that's interesting. Kind of makes you wonder what the advantage of a perfect Koromon, despite being so difficult to get, really is. take another little break that won't really take that long for you guys and be I don't know I'll come back to it eventually a hundred and twenty three damage that's what I do to a Sandra
those things. I wish now that I'm like level 99, my experience kind of just all got diverted. That would be super helpful. How much experience are you getting to give? 900 off of the weaker enemies. And on some of the beefier ones, you get 15. I don't know. Still not worth the hassle. There's obviously level up groups where yeah. let me even pay attention. I crushed the um, without even paying attention. I crushed the first three. Yeah. doing this. What? You must have just had super bad defense. But I'm gonna, uh, like, if I had to go another 10 levels with Sam Drill, or whatever this guy is, do I feel like... I would be getting a level up after every five battles. I just don't feel it. I feel like it'd be at least six or seven, maybe. Especially since I'm like on three or four right now. Unless it's just all kind of like a curve where like once you cross 40, it becomes way harder to level up, I guess, maybe, I don't know. So let's count the matches. So this will be one. This will be two. Yeah. And it'll be a potent one. So, I mean, it's even got Amber being pulled in for it. Yeah. Oh, I should have switched then. What was I thinking? Oh, such a waste of 10 
potential. I could have added probably another like two thousand to that darn thing. Mm -hmm. I should be able to get it all done. Gonna work for it, that's for sure. This should be it right here. No matter what. So much for no matter what. Wow. Then I guess this is guaranteed. That's how much that one potent battle could have meant I could have been done by now. Oh, thank goodness. Sandcast is done. I'm going to save those milestones for the next video because I want that level 99 to be shown in a main episode. Oh, I just thought of something. I got a, I got a lot of editing to do. I got editing all the way back to the swampy swamps. I was really hoping to see a level up right there. Not seeing that level up, that, that concerns me. I hope to see a level up every single battle. From this point forward to about 35. Alright, starting from this point forward. Why do I get the one thing I don't want to see? I still got a long ways to go. I got two big ones to train. Before I have every normal core mod. Wow. All right, sir. From this point forward, every battle I finish, I hopefully get a level up. At least until wow. I'm multi gets to level 35. If I could get that. Then I think I'll be in the clear. 
But if he starts being a two battle system for. If he's already like in the 1500 range, I imagine he's going to be required probably 4000. Am I not getting any stats anymore? No more stats. What I see is what I have. Alright. That's the limit. setback and like next to zero. I'm trying to get to 35 and then... I'm gonna get to 35 and then I'm gonna go switch over to Swampy Swamps and see if I, if I can get it to go just a little bit faster down there. Hopefully with Fane Spurs I'll be able to it pretty good, but I need to dump some into special attack. Mm -hmm. You know, I might give it a try. Actually. <laughs> I 
mean, what's the worst it can do? I mean, coming back here for just a little bit is not going to be that bad of a deal. So the obvious question becomes, do I feel like... Obviously, all that matters is what doubles hit. attention to the experience. Really? No. No, that's terrible. So it's definitely better to just go to the other area. And let's see how the problem child would have uh, gone. Faster. Not that much damage. I should have turned off the fiery one, but to be honest, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I had a feeling.
Alright, I gave that one a try. It obviously didn't work, so... I'm switching back to my original strategy. A lot of time loss on the sense of trying this, but I still think it was worth a try. Two Cormon I never thought would have got used. Still gonna be doing slightly better. I would train here, but I don't want to break sequence. see how many levels my other two jump up in a single shot. Stupid thing is, all I would have to do... Yeah. ...is just go to the previous location. Yeah. I wouldn't have made it. Hold on, I also gotta do something else real quick. You know, I don't think it's gonna make all that much of a difference. By the time I leave again, that's probably gonna be the difference. So instead of just wasting 10 minutes going out looking for a stigma, so that way I only have to train at one level, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do what I'm doing. that wrong. One level, one battle, one level. Just keep it like that for a little while. And this is what I was afraid of. Like, now it's gonna be every other battle, hopefully for a little bit. And hopefully I don't run into too many of these. Yeah. <laughs> 
I wonder if this will work. So here's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully to double the efficiency of this. I can do this. I want to get rid of this guy with his invasion anyways. I don't feel like that was much more. Yeah, that was definitely not much more. do more than like 1500 experience and I know that this is just a waste of time. Oh yeah, that's just a waste of time. This only gives like a thousand, but it didn't. He gave way more. Wait. Uh, I thought I was gonna get my double attack move. I was gonna think awesome. Things that I have to go back and train those one core on. Really? Really? I mean, I would almost be done right about now, but that's okay. Digma won't take long at all. And besides, eventually I'm gonna do the living decks for this, so it doesn't really matter. And my living decks will go as far as to at least have the final evolution, have all the moves unlocked. I don't know about everybody. Pink. 
Oh no, will this level almost 30 beat my level 100? No. So, I'm probably gonna be at every four battles now. Which means I would have 16 battles left to go. sooner than I wanted, or I was thinking. So instead of looking at like 16, I'd be looking at 12. Or I guess 8 now, but I'm still gonna count down from... Wow, quad volt. I haven't seen that in a while. Wait, why are you guys so low? Did I not? Oh no, I did. So, 12 to go. Not even gonna waste time on this. Seven to go. Yeah. 
you know, guys, we were having such a good time. Everybody was going quick. Don't, don't gum up the works, okay? What was I on? Six? That uh, stupid frog. Ruined it all. I'm just gonna say five to go. Four to go. So hopefully that means this is it. That was it. Oh, I guess I should have took out the stupid frog. Three, two, go. And if I wasn't dumb and working with potent Korriban, this would be it. Moline is evolving. Oh, this thing looks kind of cool. Kind of weird, though. Ash clops. I like it. Kinda looks like it's got four arms, too. Heavy power zero. I have targets HP. Oh, nice. Alright, we're just gonna move this item onto Clone Eye. Good thing I caught Clone Eye. Otherwise, ooh, I'd be going way backwards. I'm gonna see these things jump up to like level 15 in a single shot. Really? Only at level 12? That was not as much as I was thinking. But I mean, it's not like it's a big deal. Good thing I only have to go to level 28. Get the first evolution. That's good. Maybe I should have just went ahead and caught the Digma, Digma. Digma. That's okay. That is kind of a cool thing to watch, though. Oh, is that one going to be perfect? No. Well, 
catch up for later. When I said later, I don't mean later. I'm like turning that thing down. Oof. That didn't sound good. <laughs> You know, and another part could be just because, like, it takes so long to train. That by the end, I, I kind of get a little burned out. And that could be in part why it always feels like it takes so long, but I, I don't know. To be honest, multi was not as bad. Multi was still not as bad as uh, Sandcast, and despite not doing the smarter thing and just catching catching the Digmount, I mean it, it's still not like too terribly bad training Clone Eye. Still getting two levels per actual battle. Wow. After this, you done. Wow. Probably do like a montage of all these level ups since I, I have already kind of gone through these. You guys definitely shouldn't have to go through all of that again. You're a little late on that achievement there. That's not what I wanted to see. That's definitely not what I wanted to see. I wanted to see a level up. Don't mess with my accuracy and I don't care. more battle law to do it.
and I'm gonna go through and edit all these videos. Oh no, it evolves at level 33. Oh, I made a huge mistake. I thought it was 28. I made some errors. Well, this ought to yield some results. Digma, digma. This wasn't too bad. I mean, it was a lot, lot worse than I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't too bad. 31. I was just on the wrong end of 30. One more and we should be out of here. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be that long or difficult. So this is aiming to be just like, uh, what's his name was? Clone Eye. Where the levels so far have been pretty next to identical. Almost there.
Oh wow, that actually uh, happened. Hmm. I wasn't actually expecting that to. Let's see uh, if he'll go for a second level up. Yeah, got some potential. I guess that was something. Gotta be getting there soon. Yeah. It's still gonna be a while. just became not enough. Hopefully that's just... Wow. Gotta get off set. Because if I can do that, 
then. Maybe I can make everything go by faster. So for these guys. Well, I'll give it a try. The exact team I did not want to see for this fight. Yeah, I lost that. Might as well get the boosted experience though. this punch we're just gonna go ahead and pretend like this is where you know it just normally would have been level 30 which is where it would have been if I would have done it right from the beginning everything's on track we're just on the last coil right now last six levels nothing big
32. Almost there. I prefer ones like this. Because I can just do this. Bam. Same result. Six more battles. I'm hoping this making five. Wow. You know what, whatever. If it's gonna be the frog, it's gonna be the frog. This should be the last battle. I'm gonna use Trend and Sending just to make sure it's the last move. As long as it's the last battle. Right. Thank goodness. Oh, it's finally over. <laughs> oh. With Rhino Buzz, that's it. Nobody else. It's all done. Yeah. 
Well, you know what? That thing's just gonna get trained with someone else. I don't care. I'm tired. Next time on Koromon, we're gonna go ahead and continue on the story. And this is a promise. They're not gonna be as bad. The next one will not be so bad because there's not gonna be that many. I'm glad I stopped going for the level 40. I mean, it wouldn't have been so bad, but... <sighs> Next time, we're going to continue the story, and we're going to try to fill in what little tin bits we can, and I'm not going to do this again for the rest of the game. I will do it in the post-game, but I won't show another training montage until the post-game. Like, once I get to the area where these can be caught, I will complete the Cordex completely. At least before the end of the game. And then I will put up the video after the main story is over and once it kind of gets into the post game. But until then, right now, we've trained everybody up. I'm going to keep Skitters here for a minute so that way I can show off my level 99. And we're also going to go back in time or back a ways and go get Fadai to whoever that one guy was. Where was he? I think he was probably Oh duh, he's in the spawn. Duh. Next time we're gonna give him what he wants. And we're gonna continue on. Meet this light sensei or whatever. See you guys then. Thank you.